Hello and welcome to this video, my name is ActiQ and today I want to talk about the brawling gloves that Jagex kind of released back to RuneScape a while ago. So on the background of this video you will see me using my brawling gloves for fire making and I will just quickly go through the best ways to use each brawling gloves. However there might be some hidden ways that I'm not aware of. So the brawling gloves are a rare drop that you can get from any monster at the moment in RuneScape and this is actually a new update and they were released like this and before this you could only obtain them from Revenants and before that you could obtain them in PvP Worlds. So the Brawling Gloves give you plus 300% boost if you train the selected stat in the wilderness or plus 50% boost if you train it outside the wilderness. Unlike many degradable items in RuneScape, the Brawling Gloves actually work by actions rather than time. So the more XP you get for each action, the more bonus XP you will get from your Brawling Gloves. So I have divided all the Brawling Gloves in different categories and the first category is the bank standing skills, which are the brawling gloves for fire making, cooking and prayer. For using these three brawling gloves, the best way to do it is to be at the mage bank and just go outside of the mage bank and use the best possible food and the best possible logs. So basically you can just get a lot of elder logs and a lot of rock tails and just come and cook and fire make in this location. For prayer it's slightly different because you need to get the dragon rider amulet from the one of a kind quest because that amulet stacks with the brawling gloves boost and if you use the amulet from the quest or the dragon rider amulet you actually get double the XP for burying each bone. So if you use your frost dragon bones at the mage bank and you use your brawling gloves while wearing your dragon rider necklace, you will actually get about 1.4k XP for burying one bone. Smithing is kind of its own category since the best way to use the smithing brawling gloves I think is to make the dragon fire shields in the wilderness. I didn't test it out myself but if it works still in the game you should get about 8 k smithing xp for one dragon fire shield and there is an anvil pretty much close to the mage bank so just run west to the mage bank and there is an anvil over there the third category is called divine locations and this includes the brawling gloves for fishing mining woodcutting and hunter and basically what you do is you just gather a lot of divine locations to your bank or you ask your friends to put the divine locations to the wilderness and you use, for example, Divine Rocktail Bubbles, Divine Runite Ore, Divine Magic Logs, and also the Divine Box Trap. It will, however, take quite a long time to finish your Brawling Gloves, since you can only gather the limited amount of supplies from each Divine Location. The fourth category is just agility by itself and it's quite self-explanatory since there aren't many ways to train agility in the wilderness. But if you want to get the most out of your brawling gloves for agility, you should always unequip them and equip them only at the last obstacle since the last obstacle gives you the biggest XP drop. So for agility you just simply go to the wilderness agility course. The next category is just thieving by itself and thieving is actually one of the only skills that you really can't train much in the wilderness since the only option you pretty much have is to open the chests at the rogue's castle. And I think that since the base XP for gathering the chests in the Roach Castle is just 300, so that you get 1.2k for each chest, it might be better to just use your thieving brawling gloves in the Pyramid Plunder. However, remember that don't equip them until the last room, since you get the most XP from the last room in the Pyramid Plunder. The last category is called combat and this includes the magic melee and ranged brawling gloves. And sadly since I don't have the brawling gloves for any of these I couldn't really test out how it works but before EOC they used to work so that each and every hit would count for the brawling gloves but I'm not sure that they do that anymore because I think they might also calculate the amount of kills that you do. So basically you just want to kill the highest possible monster in the wilderness. So I suppose Black Demons or the Revenants are a good bet. 
So this is my quick overview on the brawling gloves and how to use the brawling gloves. I might have missed out on some proper methods, so if I have, please leave that to the comments of this video so that everybody can know about it. But other than that, I thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.